indeed that's what we're going to do today is another day where we go out and find history and share history in a very special way we are going back in time we are going to a former german world war ii airfield they had a large runway they had hangars they had splinter hangars shelters for their aircrafts there were 88 millimeters all around the here the perimeter but also there's a very special hill next to the airfield which has 20 millimeters some trenches some very strange barrack foundations and features and that is what i'm going to do because this place is going to go away soon it's going to be developed and completely removed as a full unit it, the, the whole mountain is actually going away and i'm here to do some metal detecting and i'm going to see if we can find something to share with you if you want to help me out to reach more targets this is all you have to do um, the YouTube algorithm, it works in a very special way. It's, it's called retention time. For each and every second you watch our videos, we will be recommended and suggested on the right hand side of your YouTube screen. And uh, let's do an experiment. Let's say that all of you watch the video in full. You know, we will have like 28 times more um, suggestions coming up on the side for people and more people can watch us. So help us out in that way. But now let's go out and find out what is at the German World War II airfield hillside. So a, Ger a German World War II Luftwaffe position next to our airfield. So I said this hill is going away. Why? I don't know. They're just going to level everything, maybe build parking spaces. And that's why I wanted to metal detect this place before it's completely gone. Because whatever is here now will be vanishing very quickly. They have moved towards here with the blasting like, like 30, 40 meters since the last time I was here. And it's a huge hill. It's like uh, maybe 70, 80, 100 meters high. So definitely worth a little try and just see if there could be something here. They had anti-aircraft gun positions, as I said. They had lookout positions, MG machine gun positions, trenches, some tiny small barracks with up here, munition storages. So that's basically where we are. These are basically my tools. I have a macro multi-cruiser metal detector with a sniper head, a sniper coil, very small to get in between. Got a set of gloves, pinpointer, which actually uses like this. It just detects metal, so it's easy to find small cartridges and stuff and a little digging tool. That's basically it. And that is what I've done. I set it up with a three-tone program and uh, we're basically ready to go. I read they had 20 millimeter. Black 30 here. So basically anything that looks like a brass cartridge would be cool. There is something there. What is that? That's a huge porcelain piece, maybe for electrical cables or something. Bulb holder. So basically I'm just gonna see if there could be anything at all so it's gonna be a lot of up and down and up and down and up and down but I'm not worried more barbed wire can you follow me if you can well we're going yeah there's another one but it's just in bad condition as it is iron ba barely comes on as a signal but that's another one. Germans were here. Pretty happy so far actually. I'm always kind of negative before I come and then I'm so happy if I just find the tiniest little thing. Oh, there's another one. That is not the German type. This is more modern, I think. Because this place was also used post-war. I do believe. Cool. I think that is a Allied cartridge from after the war. It says DM4. I think that means the Moa or Desma in the United States, and four is like 1944. Interesting. You can see here the terrain is just like level, 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 up, up, up. So I'm doing the lower parts now. And when we get further up, I'm hoping to find a 20 millimeter position and ammunition storage and some trenches. But I'm going to work myself up here, 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 and uh, we'll see. 
All right, so the ne next sequence, I actually don't have the footage. I don't know what happened. I thought I was recording, but obviously I wasn't when I was digging there. Nevertheless, the next item that I found was one of these 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun cartridge, which is basically what I was hoping for because it's all about the context. It's not about which, which item I find. I don't care if I find a little button or I find a Panzerfaust or a Tiger tank. It doesn't matter for me. For me, it's to find the context between the past and what we find today. And this is the proof that one of these guns were up there. Why? Well, that's because it was a flat gun hill, anti-aircraft gun hill, to protect the airfield. And that's basically where we are. And that is what I was hoping to find. Just so sad that the footage wasn't there. This was kind of, this is this one where it's like uh, complete. And I'm going to see if I have the possibility to get this camera to work. You see that? There's the date. It will be a Waffenam Eagle and some other details but this one doesn't have it because it's too corroded but it's such a cool thing to find the specifics of the uh, location and this was one of my main targets and uh, very happy for that but let's go out and see what more we found that 20 millimeter actually made my day i don't know about you but i just love so much to go out and find history and share history and on this incredible position it was almost like a must that I should find something really cool because there's a reason. All of these artifacts that I found, let me show you this. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff and if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure yeah i'll pass it on to you so i create these beautiful dioramas if you want to become a supporter on patreon help us out to go out to more locations and share more history well we pass it on to you as gifts and that 20 millimeter will for sure be one of those come on let's continue this is starting to get exciting around here there are huge clusters of barbed wire but let me show you something see that that is blasted rock. That means that the Germans did something because when there's blasted rock, they normally removed uh, details in the terrain so they could create their trenches and maybe even other things. So I'm gonna go a little bit over here. For you, this aluminum wire doesn't seem like significant. For me, it just proves more that the Germans were here because they utilized aluminum out in the fields a lot. So. That is a proof of the German activity right there. That's what it is. Some kind of uh, container. See that? Just a pin, thin piece of some metal, which I think is for a barrack drainage system or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna let that be. That's interesting, that's a buckle. Iron buckle. It's heavy duty, so maybe it was for the horses that pulled the different kind of, you know, munition and stuff they need up here. Huh, interesting. Remember I said I thought the trench and the blasting could lead to something? Well, the trench goes down there. Let me show you actually some kind of cave or something and you can see for sure something took place right here in this square area and look there some kind of retention wall or something came apart there and there are three huge metal rods you can see them in the mountainside there so interesting let's go down and check out this area here and see what's there if that's a tunnel or what it is yeah another K98 round just outside that cave. Did Hans run and hide in there because the Allied came in with the air raid and then he went out and started to fire at the aircraft. Who knows? Let's see what took place in the mountain here. K98 
kidding me? It's actually a tunnel of some sort. Oh, it's filled with water. Is it uh, flooded? I think there's actually a tunnel there, which is flooded. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's flooded or what it is. Uh, I can see somebody has tried to stick a long wooden thing down there. And it really does look like it's a tunnel going downwards. Interesting indeed. So this is basically what used to be here. And you can see they did something here that could also be a fighting position. Because you can see they can take cover behind here. And the trench where we came from is down there. And then you have that thing there which we very often find to be near the fence position. So they could run into the train, go behind one of these to, 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 to fire, and then run away to the next one. And they would have pre-storages of munition around. They would call them different kind of uh, actually names or, or numbers. So that's cool to see. I'm going to do a little bit around here and see if something comes up. So we're at this little cave position. And then suddenly history decides to shear again. And I do think it's a spoon. Is it a Luftwaffe spoon? Could it really be a Luftwaffe spoon? I really couldn't tell, but it really, I'm shaking. <laughs> That's interesting. This is just outside that and uh, I don't think it is a Luftwaffe, but I'll clean it up and uh, let you see it when it's kind of finished. Wow! So that is the spoon. Uh, unfortunately, it was not marked with any Luftwaffe in the back there. But what it is, is a very time frame correct uh, produced spoon. The producer is actually Gove alpaca and this is uh, signed with the w and g in the center there and that is basically uh let me see there in the middle there and what is so cool is that it's made in what the germans called neusilber and it's translated to new silver it's a special technique this one was very silverish when it was produced and the producer has been around for 160 years or so and these spoons were typical for the German soldiers to either carry around and have in their backpacks, all of that. And they very often followed the soldiers all the way from Germany to the different positions in Europe. So this thing is ornamented. You can see here it's kind of pretty nice uh, in details. But this, the compound of the metal, which is the silvering, uh, some alloys and things, it's completely gone. But nevertheless, beautiful piece absolutely time frame correct and uh, i believe one of the soldiers actually ate from that spoon and it was left there outside that cave very cool i thought i was finished this is the retaining wall that's the cave so huge bolt and now i'm gonna do it just a little bit down here i'm eager to go up and see if that is where the 20 millimeter was what where did it go I think that's a tag. Is it a tag plate? It's one, two. That is interesting. Oh, yeah, it is a tag plate. I can see some markings here. That is interesting. I'll keep that and we'll clean it up and see what it says. There is that piece, and Eagle Eye, he just came in and he said, what are you doing, Daddy? <laughs> He's making a drawing for his grandmother, and um, I said, I'm doing some stuff, and he said, I don't recognize the pieces, but that's because you weren't there. And he goes like, oh, I wasn't there. So nevertheless, um, this is the piece, I cleaned it up, and as I said and guessed, it's a tag. And you want to see what it says? That's what it says. Sug, V Sug. The only thing I can tell you that Sug is train in German. 
but it's not Vaxoic. You could think it'd be a tag for a toolbox or something, because that's Vaxoic in German is W. Uh, so I don't know, but Sug is definitely German. So V, Sug, I don't know, but how cool. And the reason for um, this being aluminium is actually connected to the fact that the Germans very often used aircraft aluminium pieces either for trash aircrafts or maintenance pieces all of that so very often when you find um uh, aircraft uh, sorry you find airfield areas you find that the germans actually utilize the aluminium pieces that was natural around the aircraft maintenance and all of that i find that pretty cool so let's go out and see what more we find today i most definitely seen this cap before the aluminium cap which is kind of supposed to be snapped off because it, it's protecting is it from mine or something i've seen it many many times i just can't remember what i've seen it from so that is the fighting position that is fantastic tiny little spot where the germans could kind of hide and take cover or protect this area and here you can see the mountain is slowly just going away. The whole freaking mountain is going to come down. And each and every week, there's a meter and a meter and a meter. And that is why I wanted to go here and do several metal detectings here for several days, because I wanted to find out what is still here. And uh, in that way, I can kind of document what was here. And uh, in uh, maybe a year or so, everything will be level. And that is too sad. Hope you enjoyed that. I most certainly did. And it's not about finding machine guns or hand grenades or helmets, all of that. It is about finding the connection between this little piece of a 20 millimeter and the German World War II airfield area and the specific happenings that took place there. Namely, that this was a anti-aircraft gun position at the German World War II airfield and we found exactly what they used and we well we, I think we shared some great moments believe me there will be a part two as well because I found more and uh, I'm definitely going to share that with you in the next episode and you'll find that here where it says uh, more Click that and the link will be there when you see it. Then you can click on part two. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you supporting us out there. And if you want to help us to reach more locations and do more history and share more history with you, well, we have this super thanks feature. It's your opportunity to help us out, to put some gasoline onto the fuel tank and boom, go out and find and share even more history. And also, as I said a hundred times before, if you watch the videos in full every second, I believe me, you are helping us out tremendously. Thank you to all of you who support us on Patreon, being a team member. Thank you for that. Greatly appreciated. And for those of you who donate on the PayPal thing, thank you. Thank you for being in there for us. Well, I have to say thank you for being here and uh, we will definitely see you out there in the next one. See the link in the video and find that. And uh, until then, Keep smiling and uh, see you later.